messed your hair a little oh, bit. Oh, did Just I? Just a little bit. Oh, well. Bump into the drape back there. Yeah, we can't be careful <laughs> with this hair. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hi. Because if it's not a good hair day, oh. forget it. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> We are so excited to be with you once yes, again, we are. and uh, as we are week after week. You know, the show plays a couple, three times a week. Yes, it so, does. So, um, and it changes. You've got to check the, the, the TV to guide. Yeah, right. sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. on the TPN network. That's right. So, how's it going? It's going great. We are enjoying. You we know, we come to Brand. I said, I said Branson tonight. Well, See, it's yes. so easy to say that because we live in Branson. We do. But I said we come to Nashville, Tennessee, and we film, film a series of shows. Am I not speaking clearly today for some reason? <laughs> we used to live here. Yeah, we used no, to live in Nashville. We love Nashville, we love Nashville. As Nashville. Well. Of course, we love uh, Branson, but we come here to film our shows. Yes, we do. And uh, it's a pleasure to bring this week after week to your into your home because we have a good time. You know, we party, but we party the right way. That's okay, right. but uh, one one person that helps us party the right way is Denver, <laughs> and of course, his band at the Mile High. So. Why don't you give them a big hand right now, okay? Opa. Yeah, just right yeah, where you yeah. sit, Very just much. applaud okay. and Opa. yell and scream. They're awesome. Hey, we have that, that. can applause. <laughs> but it's, it's okay. It it's still all works. Good. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. So uh, everything's good. You're traveling a lot. Everything's really, really great, good. you know. I can't complain. Folks need to know, though, I want to just say this, that Denver and the Mile High, uh, you got to check their website, which is? DenverMHO.com. Because they're, they may be in your city, and uh, if they're not, you need to invite them because they're the best, I'm telling you. They're awesome. Great to have you on the show. Thanks so much. One of the songs that we're going to do for you today, Dino, you know, week after week, we do this theme music, and you guys walk you do, out, yes. and it's the big, big deal, you yeah. know? Right. Well, we kind of thought it would be fun if on this episode today that we would actually play the song because that's actually the intro to one of our songs that we recorded a few years ago, one of the most popular at all of our concerts, and it's an old hymn. On Christ, Christ the, the solid, solid rock. rock I stand. All, All right. other ground is sinking. Oh, sand. you guys are going to love this. Yes. Okay, once again, down to the mile high. Hey, you know, the music sounds familiar. That's right, Papa D. I wholly lean on Jesus' name. on the tenor saxophone, everyone. Shout it for me, fellas. Here we go.
ready to start the show, I'm right? I'm telling you, that is oh power. I oh, quite, I how do you hold that quite, note so long? I never quite... Wow. It's good how he does it's, that, right? He's awesome. I never quite heard that hymn like that before. No, not exactly. That'll wake anybody up. Well, That's you know. Very, very cool. Very Grandma, cool. get up and dance around the house <laughs> because that'll get your blood flowing. You'll get younger. You, oh, you always Cheryl, get younger with our show. This is great. This is great. You know, uh, uh, we get to meet a lot of very interesting guests on our mm -hmm. show. Yes, we and do. some uh, that we've known for a while and some that we've never met before. And uh, today we have a guest that's I consider to be a very unique uh, musician. And uh, most of all, uh, mo not just a, mu a, a wonderful musician, but a, has a great, great testimony. Yes, he okay? does. And uh, so we'd like to introduce to you our guest and be blessed by it. In the next few moments, just open your hearts and minds to receive what God really wants to say to you, okay? So ladies and gentlemen, we present to you Rusty Goldman. Rusty, how are you? I said Goldman, Golden. Hun. Golden, huh? <laughs> I've saying? only known you since you were born. That's right. <laughs> are you serious? I have since he was My a first question, guy. Rusty, is are Maybe you having a good hair day? Yeah, I guess okay. so. It looks like you are. Yeah. I said it because, you know, at the beginning of the show, Cheryl hit it on the curtain. But anyway. Hey, uh, you've got gray hair, but great hair. Full. Yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah. It runs in the family. First question yes, I'm going to ask you is this. Okay, your dad is William Lee Golden, the Oak Ridge Boys. Yeah. What was it like growing under that kind of, I mean, he's so, so popular, so, so famous in that group. And here, you're the son. Was that difficult to kind of yeah. get out of that? Well, you know, when you're real, he joined the Oaks when I was six. So at that age, you really don't know. I mean, what I remember is having, you know, seeing people come yeah. up and want their pictures taken with him yeah. and signing autographs and stuff. And mm -hmm. so I knew he was not like the other kid's dad in that way. And, uh, but it was, but at the same time, it was like he took me on the road with him. Oh, did he really? And in uh, yeah. the summers yeah. and weekends and stuff. And so, um, I'll ask because I'm, it was I'm kind of a natural thing. I mean, yeah. it's like some kids, you got right dads into are this. football players yeah. or whatever. Got right into the whole life. I have a question. Take a quick turn here. Yeah. Uh, your grandma was a writer, My grandma. is a writer, was a writer, She's wrote this book. the first writer in our family. Golden Verses, Poems life, poems yeah. of Life, Love, Family, and Faith. Yeah. Do you think your writing ability came from her? No doubt. Yeah. No uh, doubt. So, so the first good. songs I wrote it's a beautiful book. Uh, was taking her poetry and putting music to it. Oh, see, that's yeah, awesome. it's, just, it's all I had. You know, yeah. there, were, uh, we, there was no television. We grew, uh, my grandmother, I grew up. Really, when I went when I went home to stay with them, my grandparents, that is, down in Alabama, where we're all from. Right. Um, no television. Oh, uh, really? Oh, no. <laughs> By the way, say hello to your mom, Frojean, for me. Oh, I will. She so loves no me. TV? No no, TV. no, no, no. It's strict holiness. Oh, oh, it oh it's holiness it. church. Okay. Gonna, yeah. Yeah. I mean, they had a car and stuff and electricity, you yeah. know, but no television. So you haven't always been a Christian. Right, I mean, no, I mean, I was like a, raised in. I mean, I went to church every Sunday, and you know, we, you know, always we have our own family church down where I'm from. Yeah. You know, I've got my great my, my great granddaddy had a uh, he was a preacher had a radio show that my dad used to sing on when dad was like nine, I think. Wow. wow. And and I've had pray. I mean, every day my you know that I was with my grandparents. I mean. First thing in the morning yeah. on the knees. Yeah, right. Last thing before uh, last thing before we go to bed on the knees, saying long prayers. So, do you think that? Do you think as you were growing, that kind of turned you off, or did you? There, I mean, no, it didn't turn me off. I, I mean, was just it was like, man, once the once success started happening around the family, mm -hmm. that you know, sometimes it brings Something all the uh, yeah. Temptations. Yeah, all right. Man, I'm just, you know, that's yeah. what it is. That's I mean, what it is. Temptations, and I'm, hu you know, I'm just another human. Yeah, we're all. And, uh, you know, I, oh, I know what's right from wrong. Yeah. Thank the Lord I do. Yes. yes. And it just, uh, you know, I just. You went to, <laughs> it you, took me. It took you me, went I'm, through uh, a season, I'm 48 right? years old now. Yeah. And um, it, uh, right at, at about 42 years old, and I was watching TV one night, TV in. Were you oh TV one in? Oh yeah. Oh, so that's how and you heard about. I watched it, and man, they were talking to See, me. See, there you go. Amen. Said everything. Awesome. It's like, oh man, this is me. 
Praise God. I was on my knees, man. <laughs> All right. That's awesome. Pray, said, All right. Please, Lord. All right. Man, you take over. That's yeah. terrific. It yeah. ain't working my way. Yeah. I had gold records on the wall yeah. and flying in Gulfstream jets. Yeah. Right. It wasn't working uh -huh. my way. I wasn't happy. You Why? Know? Because it was, was there like an emptiness in your life? Big time. Like and big time. I think everybody has that hole. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Unless the Lord's in it. You know, I was telling Charlotte this the other day. I can't imagine. I, of course, I, sometimes I feel I was born on the first pew in my church. You Me know, too. As long as I remember, I'm a Christian. Yeah. Uh, but there's been such security and, and love and uh, camaraderie with, with Christians. Uh, such peace. I don't know how people live without the Lord. Can, can you imagine? I mean, you, try, you tried it. You tried it. Yeah. And everything, yeah, all this and stuff started coming into your life. I tried to fill that hole with all the world. Yeah. Drugs and yada, yada, yada. Oh, yeah. That, all that. that stuff. But it didn't all work. That stuff. Bad stuff. Because that night you fell to your knees. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> and out of that you sing. started writing, right? Right. Yeah, oh, he's yeah. going to sing something. I need you to sing because I wish we had like an hour yeah, show me here. Too. I want you, if you Part don't, two coming uh, up one day. Or two. Do you mind going to the piano right now I and singing this? What are you going to sing? The first song is a brand new one. Uh, it's not even a week old called I'm So Glad You Did. I wrote it with Diane Wilkerson. I'm All right, so want to hear it. Did. And yeah. we'll be over there to talk again. Okay. You know, he's just had a number oh, one man. hit song. and, and Oh, he's had a lot of hits. We're going to talk about that after, yeah. too. But uh, so I want people to hear Rusty and his heart because I, I, through his music, yes. his testimony, you know right. what I'm saying? Right. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Rusty, Rusty at the piano as he sings for you. sin so long ago his innocence was lost and so in shame he took his wife and hid but Lord you came and looked for them covered them with coats of skin just as said you shouldn't have just as said shouldn't have but I'm so glad you did and so the human race was lost sin extracted such a cost could there be hope for sinners once again and though the law declared my guilt I cried out, God, will you forgive? Just as said you shouldn't have. Just as said you shouldn't have. But I'm so glad you do.
know something? <laughs> I like you. Thank you. And I like you because <clears throat> you're honest. I like your delivery. I mean, it comes from your heart. And I know that people that were watching just now have had to. And listening to the lyrics, have had to experience something that was very, very sincere coming out of you. And, and, and that's so refreshing. You know what I'm saying? Um, here, you're a guy that has gotten all these number one hits. I mean, you've written some what? what are some, what's I got some my first gold record when I was 24 years old. Um, a long time ago <laughs> for writing. For writing. Yeah. And, and some of the uh, greatest artists have sung your music. Yeah. And yeah. Um, I just come off a huge number one gospel song by a group called Ernie Haas and Signature Sounds. Oh, he's great. Yes. It's a hi- history making. Uh, it entered the chart. There's never been a song that entered the charts that high. It entered at 13. Wow. And what's the name of it? John and the Jordan. John and the Jordan. Mm-hmm. Now, say someone wants to get. Say that album, for instance. Yeah, it's on, uh, it's the album's called, and the album, and I would suggest, honestly, I, uh, it's through Bill Gaither's okay. record company. But oh, you I can say Bill Gaither, that's yeah, all right. Bill's been a hero. We like me. Bill, yeah. And uh, I would suggest the DVD only because okay. Ernie Haas and those guys are such a visual act that to see, yeah. you need to see them. You so know, you helped to produce like that the album? to me. I mean, yeah. the albums are fine and dandy, but... And you produced, you, so you produced or wrote, 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 wrote these songs, okay. John and the Now, Jordan. what's your website? Say someone wants to... RustyGolden.com. Dot com. That's yeah. it. Rusty Golden. So if folks want to get on there, they can get some of your music. And oh, yeah. There's a... There learn are, more about you, what have you. Uh, while you were singing, and Cheryl and I were standing over there, I thought... Your grandma's got to be so proud of you right now. Well, and she's got to she, she's got to be <laughs> praising God. She's 90. 90 years old. Yeah. And how's she doing? She's doing great. Is she really? She's doing she's better than I am. <laughs> I'm sitting so, here sweating. Well, what a, what a heritage. Calm. <laughs> Real calm, right? Well, 90, you, you become calm. Exactly. You know. But anyway, no, uh, Rusty, what are you going to sing next? Man, if I have a testimony... This is it. Is it right here? Yeah. Okay. This is also one with Diane Wilkinson, and I'm so proud of it. It's called What Salvation's Done for Me. All right. Rusty Golden. I used to be so lonesome. Never had a friend Always looking out for number one Mm -hmm. Didn't know where I was going Didn't care where I had been The life I lived sure had me on But one day Jesus found me and took my sin away. He showed me what I thought I'd never see. He put me in his family and he's with me to this day. Let me tell you what salvation's done for me. To be a blind man, but now my vision's clear. Mercy came and drove the shame from me. There's peace of mind with Jesus that drives out every fear. I'm stronger than I thought I'd ever be. Tell you why he loves me as bad as I had been. Why I'm worthy of this life of victory. I know I'm not a scholar, just a sinner saved by grace. But I can tell you what salvation's done for me. One 
day when life is over, I'll go to my reward. We're living ways for those who've been set free. With saints from all the ages in the presence of our Lord. This is what salvation's done for me. I used to be a blind man, but now my vision's clear. Mercy came and drove the shame from me. This street no mine with Jesus that drives out every fear. I'm stronger than I thought I'd ever be. Tell you why he loves me as bad as I had been. Why I'm worthy of his prize of victory. I know I'm not a scholar, just a sinner saved by grace. But I can tell you what salvation's done for me. What salvation's done for me Wow. <clears throat> this powerful. That is absolutely Absolutely powerful. I want you to get up a second. Sit over, sit over here. I want you because I want to set the piano. Usually, uh, we'd have Rusty leave this, this set, but I want you to stay here. Oh, please. And let, let's let get right out to right out to the end because what you just sang. Oh, praise God! Mm. <laughs> the anoint. I'm telling you, right? It's, it's, it's powerful, right? The anointing yeah, of the Holy Spirit is speech. in the studio, mm-hmm. and and lives are, that are being changed by the power of God. I believe as you were singing. Me As too. you were singing, yeah. what happened to you in your life could happen to that young man out there that's been through the drugs and yada yeah. yada, whatever. We don't discuss you. it, you know. Yeah. And, and he can accept, you can accept Jesus Christ, your personal Savior, this very moment. As a matter of fact, I just wanted to sit here and perhaps give you an opportunity. You had a verse, didn't you, Cheryl? Well, it's just a sweet verse. It is, uh, it's Romans six twenty two. But now, being made free from sin and become a servant to God, ye have your fruit unto holiness, and the end is everlasting life. Now, there's My where you are. My love that part about the holiness. Your fruit unto holiness. <laughs> well, change, yeah. he changes it's us. so true. Changes us. How sweet. That's her favorite song. Sing it. That saved our a rich like me, I once was lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, but now I see. Just like your lyrics said in your song, yeah. I was blind, but now I can oh, see. I so much. We have a few few moments, about 15 seconds almost. Huh? Uh, just look at that camera and talk to that person about 10 seconds and tell them what they need to do as far as turning their lives to Christ. Man, listen, uh, I did it. There's a number there to screen. Call them. I did. Man, I've, you know, just do it. Uh, try it. You have nothing to lose. Everything to gain. Yeah, that's right. That's awesome. I hope that was, that's, that was that's good. Perfect. That was good. Thank you so much <laughs> thank for watching. You. Thank and y'all. thank you for allowing us to bring guests like Rusty to come here and just present just from his heart. I mean, he said it just right from heart. You know, I was, Make right that call here. right now. Bye-bye. We'll see you. God bless you. I'm glad you're still watching. You know, Cheryl and I were thinking about how we can stay in touch. We'll do it through the computer. And we want to hear from you more often. 
dinoplayspiano.com and then just enter. And there's a place on our website where you can share through e-giving. Yes. Oh, that's a wonderful thing. And also Cheryl's Gift Shop, our schedule, our CDs and DVDs and guests that are on the show. You can read the daily devotional that we read every morning. dinoplayspiano.com.